Hi guys, welcome to Cramble. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my all-time favourite dishes. It's a beautiful Spanish tapas dish and it's chorizo cooked in cider and chicken stock. It is so delicious and you will not believe how easy it is to do. First off, I need to get this chorizo prepped and into a pan. So I'm going to take the ends off and then see if it's got a skin on. A lot of them are edible. I just like removing them. It makes life a bit easier. Now we're going to chop it up. Now you can chop it up however you want. I think it's nice, just sort of that size, so chorizo goes into a pan. You can get this from any supermarket, it doesn't have to be a super fancy one. If you do want to go fancy, there's delis, you can get stuff online. Um, this is just a bog standard chorizo from the supermarket. Okay, so that oil's starting to come out of there, and we don't want our sauce to split, so I'm just going to put a little bit of sherry vinegar. And that acidity is just going to counteract that fat that comes out of that chorizo. And then we can go in with our cider. So I've got a bottle opener. If we just grab a spoon and then... I don't think that could have gone any better. Right. Cider. Any cider. It's better. Obviously, the better quality of the cider, the better quality of the sauce. So we want to get this poured into here. And you want to just, just about cover it. And then we can turn the heat up a bit and we can get this on a rapid boil. We want to reduce this by about two thirds so it goes kind of sticky. And then we can go in with our stock and then that soft, beautiful sauce starts coming together. Okay, cool. So our cider has come down to a beautiful syrup and all that deliciousness has come out of that chorizo and it's gone all sticky. We've burnt off all the alcohol. So it's just fruity apples. Now we need to go in with our chicken stock. And this is where it becomes a delicious sauce. So that ch chicken stock emulsifies with that uh, cider and our beautiful oils coming out of that chorizo. And it just goes all gloopy and delicious. So we're going to let that reduce. Then we're going to serve it in a gorgeous little bowl with a massive chunk of bread. <laughs> okay, so that chicken stock has come down and it's made a beautiful, delicious sauce. I've just got some fresh flat leaf parsley and I'm just going to run a knife through it. Doesn't have to be fancy. The rougher the better. You know, tapas food, it's kind of been bastardised in this country, so we need to keep it quite rough, but the flavours need to be exceptional, like this is. So now, I'm ready to plate. 